Hey Vinyl Community, this is Chris. I'm back to do what I think is my first uh, video of 2020, so uh, Happy New Year to everybody. And this one is uh, in response to a thread uh, that I've seen a couple of videos on. I don't know how many people actually followed it, but I think Ron Haggerty uh, did a 1970 video, uh, his favorite albums or favorite uh, hard rock albums. And uh, Norman Masloff did a, uh, a follow-up on uh, 1970, A Year in Transition. So I'm going to do um, 1970, and this one will be sort of a... a oriented on uh, singer-songwriter albums. So this will be sort of folky, country type stuff for the most part from 1970. And I, these are all uh, male singers and they're also, I put them in alphabetical order. So starting with Jamie Brockett. A sort of uh, folky artist on this uh, Green Capital label, 1970. Um, he had a sort of a hit, maybe it was an FM type song that got played uh, about the, um, something about the Titanic, whatever, it was just a long spoken word type thing, sort of a Arlo Guthrie type Alice's Restaurant song. Uh, another one, you know, singer-songwriter Bobby Brown. The Wall I Built Myself it has a DJ promo sticker, but you know, that's all it is, is a sticker. Uh, this is on the Stormy Forest label. So I'm still considering what I need to do for the uh, uh, vinyl tag. You know, I've been kind of overwhelmed with all the ones that I've seen so far or what, you know, I spent all my time watching rather than doing. But this is one that uh, I was going to use as my uh, interesting center label, Stormy Forest. But then it, uh, you know, became something that fit into this uh, thread also, so. Bob Brown, The Wall I Built Myself. And then uh, Tim Buckley, the album Lorca. Split seam, need to uh, work on that. Has this uh, butterfly label, so I forgot if this is probably a uh, repress. But Tim Buckley, sort of, uh, you know, folk, folky, jazzy, avant uh, vocals. Uh, John Hartford, Iron Mountain Depot yeah, on RCA. So this is more towards the uh, folk bluegrass end of things with uh, John Hartford's uh, unique take on them. Jake Holmes on Polydor. Um, he had the famous song that uh, Led Zeppelin uh, redid. 
uh, you know, I think there might have been a lawsuit about that, but this is uh, after that. And, you know, this is more, you know, pop folk, I guess if I was going to call it something. Polydor, easy listening. Jake Holmes. Waylon Jennings. Singer of sad songs on uh, RCA. So more towards the country side of things. An orange uh, RCA label. Waylon Jennings uh, before Outlaw Country. And then sort of in that same vein, Chris Christofferson. Me and Bobby McGee on the Monument label. I think this is a reissue of the his original album that he put out with these songs. There's this version of the Monument label. So Chris Christofferson, me and Bobby McGee. Also, uh, Janis Joplin did a song, version of that uh, particular song. And back to the uh, folk side of things, pop folk. Gordon Lightfoot, Sit Down Young Stranger. This should be on, oh, this is on Reprise. Gordon Lightfoot, um, he also covers me and Bobby McGee on here, which was an unintentional uh, connection through these albums. If you could read my mind, uh, that was a big radio song for him. Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, I think he sort of messes up this, you know, whole thing because most of the rest of them are uh, American artists. I think he's Canadian. And uh, John Stewart, Willard, so he had some, uh, you know early success with the Kingston Trio as a uh, fill-in member after uh, Dave Gard left. And he was with them from, I think, 61 to 67. Then he went out on his own, did a lot of albums, um, maybe not real uh, successful. Uh, late 70s, uh, Lindsey Buckingham hooked up with him, produced uh, Dreams Away, uh, Dream Babies Go to Hollywood. Maybe that's what it was. You know, Lindsey Buckingham, Stevie Nicks both helped out on that. So we had a radio hit there, Gold. But this is prior to that. You know, just more of his uh, folk rock stuff. And then the last one in this uh, Gimme 10 1970, uh, Mason Williams, Handmade. So he sort of fits along with uh, John Hartford as being, you know, sort of TV show staples during uh, that period. Uh, this includes the hit song uh, Classical Gas. Mason Williams, guitarist, composer. Uh, this is on uh, Warner Brothers. That green Warner Brothers label. 
except it is a little bit of a custom label because it says handmade instead of just Warner Brothers. So Mason Williams. So that was my, uh, you know, quick dipping my toe back into making videos. Uh, I haven't done one, you know, since it's already the 20th, so three weeks basically. So thanks everybody for watching and uh, oh yeah. The beer I'm uh, currently drinking is this one from uh, uh, Founders called uh, Frangelic Mountain. So it's a, a brown ale, 9% uh, alcohol by volume. Frangelic, I think, refers to, uh, you know, maybe they flavored it with something like the Frangelico uh, liqueur. But thanks, everyone, for watching. Happy New Year. See you all later.